Hi, and welcome to a new screencast on GlassFish 3.1, specifically Milestone 4 and the Application Scope Resources feature. Application Scope Resources are bound to a given module. This means that the deploy action actually creates the resource, while undeploying destroys that resource. Now, resources cannot be referenced from other applications, and this also provides some performance isolation. So looking at a near file here, uh, which we will deploy to GlassFish 3.1, we see that there's a GlassFish resources.xml file, which defines a number of resources. So these resources are actually scoped and associated, if you will, with the ear itself. So you see a connection pool, a JBC resource, yet another connection pool with a name. We'll get back to uh, where the name comes from, and yet another JDBC resource. Now if we drill down uh, the ear file, we see that there's an EJB module and a web module. Each of them also have GlassFish resource files definitions. Um, so in this one, there's a connection pool, a JBC resource, an admin object, a, another connection pool, and yet another JDB resource. And similarly, in the web app, in the WAR file, we see that there is also a file defining resources for GlassFish, and specifically for that web application. So uh, these are connection pools and JDBC resources associated with the web app. So let's deploy this application to GlassFish 3.1 milestone 4. So we have GlassFish running. And now we can list the application and see that we have our resources app application and this uh, connector deployed. If we list the applications with the dash dash resources option, we see that there's a number of resources bound to each of the modules. And these start with the Java column app prefix, uh, which comes from Java E6, which has standardized JNDI names. Now, uh, the next thing we want to do is look at the subcomponents. So in each, so the con connector doesn't have one, but the ear file, as we've seen, has an EGB connector in the web module. And if we combine subcomponents with resources, those two options, we see all the uh, resources that are bound to each of the modules. And this, we see that there's no conflict here between two separate uh, connection pools, monitoring dash pool, uh, since they're bound to different modules. So let's try to ping those using the dash dash app name and dash dash module name options uh, and ping that connection pool. And we ping successfully. Let's try to ping this other pool, which has the same name, but which is bound to uh, the web app. And similarly here, we have a um, successful ping. Now let's run some tests here. Um, which should take only a, a while, a, sh a short while. And now the test that uh, we have the test running, uh, we can actually start gathering some monitoring data, which we can get through the dotted notation. So server.applications.appscope-resources-app.star and grab for whatever we're interested in. So this should return a number of statistics that uh, were generated after running the test. So the next thing we would want to do here is to flush a connection pool, still use that app name uh, option, and the module name option as well. And Java column module is uh, the prefix we use here we can flush the same connection pool in the other module as well. Now let's disable the application. Remember the resources are bound to the application so disabling the application actually disables the resources themselves. So if we try to ping again we cannot uh, get to the database and same goes for uh, both connection pools. EJB module and web app and both fail. Now let's re-enable those again. So another thing we can do is using the dotted notation uh, get uh, for the resource of a given app, say the JVC connection pool 
and uh, for that pool the max pool size so this returns the default which is 32 but we can set that value to something different say 500 for example so we've set that resource uh, option now we can redeploy the ear file um, with a property which preserves the scoped resources pretty much like we can preserve um, sessions across redeploys we can preserve uh, those um, resources that are scoped to the app and if we try to get the max pool size we see that the uh, value 500 has been preserved so that concludes the the screencast please go to glassfish.org download your copy of glassfish and give us feedback thanks for watching this